Today's video is about Iowa 80, the world's largest truck stop, and it is huge. It is huge. <laughs> Hope you enjoy the video. Hi, we are Tom and Beth, our venture weights. We sold our house and most of our belongings, moved into our fifth wheel full time to explore the USA. We are excited about our venture of this beautiful country. Follow us along on our journey. As Helen Keller once said, life is either a daring adventure or nothing at all. So we are inside Iowa 80, world's largest truck stop. Look at all of the stuff. They have it right up here. There's a truck, an antique truck. All of the, a lot of military veterans things here. Fire department, you name it, they have it. So here's another sample of everything they have. Over here is the restaurants. It's literally a food court. Wendy's, Taco Bell, Pizza Hut, Orange Julius, Caribou Coffee and Bagels, you name it, they have it here. The 1947 Power Wagon inside the truck stop here as part of the advertisement for the trucking museum that's also here on property. Well, if you're not getting your water intake, this would do it, what do you think? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Lots of water can go in this thing. <laughs> That's right. That'd be great. So, here's a wall of facts inside this truck stop. That is pretty cool. Here's more information about this truck stop. Been in operation since 1964. If you're a fan of Ford trucks, they have this beautiful Ford flatbed as a display in here. That is a beautiful truck. Here's an old gas pump that's inside here. Look at the price per gallon, 33.2 cents per gallon. It's been a long time, and at that time, the fuel contained lead. So it has been a long time since that pump was used. If you care for a sweet treat, they have those available here. Cinnamon rolls, donuts, apple fritters, muffins, you name it, they have. How about a cookie or a whole bunch of small cookies? They have those too. Even the exit sign is an old truck here. So here's an old gas station that they have here as well. An old standard oil gas station with the old pumps. Now we're going to go into the actual museum here at the Iowa 80 Trucking Museum. You can hear some of the trucks going by us in the background and that is great. That is why this museum is here. That is why we have truck stops. That is why we have trucks. So if we, if we don't have a truck stop, we don't have trucks anymore, and then America stops. We have a display of a lot of old gas pumps. See that one there? Gas 12.9. Some of these gas pumps are beautiful. Look at that old one there. Gas, 12 cents. Pretty cool. And in front of it is a very old vehicle and my beautiful wife, of course. Let's see what this one is. This is a 1903 Eldridge. 100 years of trucking. It's a 1921 International Harvester Model 101. Look at that beautiful truck. They don't make trucks like that anymore. There's a section of the museum here that is dedicated to women truckers. And also, they have a timeline of 
some famous women as well. That's pretty neat. We're entering the main portion. Look at all these beautiful trucks. There's a 1955 Mac. Some of these could still be on the road today. This is the second Walker electric truck we have seen since we have been here. And it's in need of restoration. They said that it takes approximately two years to restore one of their trucks. 1968 F-250 with a camper up on top of it. That is a nice looking truck. It looks like a nice camper too. <laughs> Beautiful trucks. That Kenworth had a top speed of 25 miles an hour. It's a 1925. Over here is a 65 N750. Look at that auto car diesel next to it. It's a 1950. Three model DC 75. The top speed on that is 100 miles per hour. Plus, it had a 100 plus. 100 plus speeds in that 100 plus miles an hour on that one. Wow, these are just some beautiful trucks. So, this is just a sample of the beautiful trucks that they have here. Now, we're entering the Mac display. Several Macs here, the first to 39. Then we have a 1960 Mac. Look at the sleeper. It actually had curtains in the sleeper. Yeah. And then there's a, a 63 next. Beautiful, pretty unique one. That looks like it's a 54. We're not sure how to say it, but it's F A G E O L. Fagel So, Fagel van. <laughs> That's pretty unique. And there's a super white Mustang. 1962. Must be where Ford got the idea to call their Mustang a Mustang because that was a hot truck. That is a 57 Ford T800. Big job, it was called. It had a 332 cubic inch gasoline engine, 15 speed, and had a top speed of 55 miles an hour. That's really pretty. It's a great year, too. Yes, it is. Very great year. They have Hanks Highway Hilton aged to perfection. One beautiful truck, lots of decoration on it. And they have the story here, it is 81 Kenworth. Beautiful truck, record of 150.918 miles an hour on Bandag retreads. 1978, another good year. Another good year, that's right. <laughs> There's a beautiful old GMC diesel. This 1927 Fisher Junior Express has a completely rebuilt wood body. It's built to the exact sta original standards. Look at these other beautiful trucks. This 1930 Studebaker, when it was found, was unrecognizable. And it's been restored by a couple of people in Colorado, and they did a wonderful job with it. Anybody's ever driven on a highway, they've seen the United Van Lines go by. Here's an early model from 1945. 1918 independent truck was found on a ranch in South Dakota. If you want air conditioning, if you want air conditioning, open the windows. You open the front window partially. And no windshield wipers. And had no windshield wipers. You can see the hinges on the front windows, on that front window at the top. Glad we have regular, real air conditioning nowadays. For the Ford lovers, 1919 Ford TT, one ton truck. That's beautiful. This 1933 Ford Model A paddy wagon was used in a movie and Sylvester Stallone was thrown into the back of it. This 1978, the movie was Fist. So the movie Fist, mm -hmm. pretty cool. Texaco service station, what they look like back in the 20s and 30s. The Coca-Cola truck. Look at all those bottles of Coca-Cola.
We hope you enjoyed our quick little review of the museum and the truck stop, the I-80 truck stop. That's it behind us. And if you get the chance and you're coming down I-80, right out of outside of Illinois, you'll see it on um, the side of the road and make sure you stop in and check the place out. There's a lot of things to see right inside the gas station area. That's right. And then walk up the hill to this museum. To the museum. And it's free to get in the museum. They just ask for a donation. So it's well worth the stop. Really nice. And it's, uh, quite interesting to read about all the different trucks. You know, you don't think much about it except what they do right now, but read the history is kind of fun. Yeah, it really is. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Take the time to hit like and subscribe, please. We really and appreciate you following us. We really do. And we <laughs> we'll will see you around, around the campfire. campfire. Bye. Bye.